Today I'll be showing you how I made this beautiful sun hat. This sun hat has three major panels, the top, the middle and the brim panel and you will require the head circumference measurement to make the sun hat. the head circumference measurement which measures 24 inches and I'll be using this medium weight interfacing pattern paper my fabric scissors pattern scissors my marker French curve my ruler or measuring tape my thread matching thread pattern and plain fabrics for this sun hat First, I'll be making the top panel and to achieve this, I have measured a circle of a radius of 3.5 inches and to derive this, I used my tape measure to go around the folded pattern paper. This will form the top panel of my sun hat. Next, I'll be cutting the middle panel. To achieve this, I will measure around this circle I cut out Measuring, measuring around the circle, I got 22 and a half inches, which is the circumference of the top panel. I will apply this to my middle panel. On another piece of pattern paper, I will measure half the circumference of my top panel, which is 20, which was 22 and a half. I will mark half of it here, which is 11.25 on another piece of pattern paper. I will join these lines then I will derive the midpoint I'll mark it at this point then the length of my middle panel is going to be 4 inches you can even make this longer or shorter depending on how you want the length to be but 4 inches has really worked out for me perfectly as that is how I want the length so I've marked the midpoint and I'll go ahead to connect these lines after connecting this line I will apply my head circumference the head circumference is 24 inches so I'm going to apply half the head circumference which is 12 inches so I'm going to apply 12 inches on this top part of my pattern paper so this is the midpoint. I'll make sure I place my tip at the point where the 6 inches falls and mark 12 on this side and on the other side I'll mark. This will sum up to 12 inches. I will use my ruler as well to connect this line. Okay, so this becomes... So this is the, my head circumference and this is the circumference of the top panel circle I cut out earlier. So next thing I'll do now is to connect these two lines at this point and connect the other one as well. So I'll have something that looks like this. So I'll add half inch ease allowance to my head circumference this is really optional but i find it really better when i add this half inch ease allowance so to apply this i will add 0.25 to the right and 0.25 to the left okay then i'll connect these lines to the point i marked earlier I will measure and mark half inch upwards from the midpoint and at the top as well I will measure and mark half inch upwards then I will use my French curve to connect these lines to the previous line I marked earlier this will form a curve
Next, I'll add half inch seam allowance to one side of my pattern. Just half inch on one side. I'll connect these lines and make my notations. This side will be cut on fold. I'll make my notation to cut on fold. For my brim panel, I will get another piece of my pattern paper. I will fold this into four and using this folded edge, I will place the top, I will fold it and place on this edge. Then I will shift it in a bit by 0.25 inch and this will make it to sum up to the total circumference of my head which was 24 inches then i will measure the brim for the brim i'll be using six inches length you can actually make this smaller or wider I actually wants a wide brim that's why i'm using six inches so i'll mark it all round top panel my middle and the print panel Quickly now we'll make the notation on each of these panels. So for the top panel, I'm going to cut one piece of interfacing, one piece of the plain fabric, and one piece of the patterned fabric. Then for my middle pattern as well, I'm going to cut one piece of interfacing, one piece of my plain fabric and one piece of the patterned fabric remember i'm going to place this side on fold to cut the middle panel for the brim panel as well i'll cut one interfacing one plain and one patterned fabric iron on the interfacing on the top the middle and the brim panel I will sew from the half inch seam allowance on the middle panel. I've just sewn the points from the half inch seam allowance on the middle panel. So now just fold it into four like this to get some straight edges on the four sides like this. Then I'll fold the top panel as well to get fine smooth lines on four edges this will help me mark out the points where i'm going to pin to the middle panel to get it at the exact point okay so from the first point i folded i'll pin it to one of the edges like this then I'll also pin the second part to this side. I pin this as well. Then the fourth one to the fourth folded part as well. Doing this will make it align properly and will come out evenly when I sew it. So next I'll just sew around this edge. So this is what it will look like after sewing it. It's beginning to look like a cap already. So the next thing I'll do is to join the brim panel to this one. And to do this perfectly, I'll just fold the brim panel as well into four.
So guys, here is the outcome after joining the brain panel. Okay, so this is what I got. And this is one side of my hat. So the next thing I'll do is to couple up the plain patterned side of my hat. Okay, so I'll do the same thing. But the only difference is that I'm not adding an interface to that one. I finished up the top and the reverse panels and this is what they actually look like now placing them opposite each other with the right side facing each other pin them in place on the edge like so all around the heart just at the brim after that we sew it around and we'll leave out about two inches or so to turn it up. Next, I will turn this inside out. I'll iron this properly, this edge. I'll iron it out properly to make them equal. Then I'll top stitch all round. So this is the finished hat. This is the reverse part, and this is the front of my hat. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed making this hat along with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video with your loved ones, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!